Click here if you're having trouble viewing the gallery on your mobile device. Bruno Mars was talking on the phone, which, really, was kind of a rude thing to do since he was in the middle of entertaining some 30,000 fans at the time. But he didn't stay on the call long, quickly telling the imaginary person that he had to get back to the gig at hand. I'm in Napa, he explained. I'm over here at Bottle Rock. You know, the fancy Coachella. Yes, we know, Bruno. We, as in some 120,000 fans over the course of three days, May 25 to 27, were there too at the 6th annual Bottle Rock Napa Valley in downtown Napa. And it was pretty great. Mars comparison to King Coachella, aka the most important and influential pop rock festival in the country, was quite telling. And it just further underscored what is becoming increasingly obvious, Bottle Rock is now one of the country's elite music festivals. Fans have voted it as such, casting perhaps the most telling of all ballots, their hard-earned cash, as this year's festival sold out in record time. And much of that had to do with Bruno Mars, of course. one of the most popular artists on the planet, breathing the same rarefied air as Taylor Swift, Beyoncé and Ed Sheeran. His presence on the bill might just have guaranteed a sellout. Of course, it didn't hurt that the other two headliners were Muse, on Friday, and The Killers, on Saturday, both of which are even better live acts than Mars. Other big names in the mix include Halsey, Snoop Dogg, Earth Wind. He's at Bruno Mars pick. Twitter.com slash Fierg, Jim Harrington, at Jim The Critic, May 28, 2018, but it's not just about the artists on the stage. It's also about the experience, the feel, if you will, of being at Bottle Rock, as people enjoy food, wine and all kinds of fun things, such as the awesome culinary stage, at the festival. That's why so many thousands make plans to spend their Memorial Day weekend in Napa each year, long before they even know who's going to be on the bill. Bottle Rock, however, is creating quite a reputation for itself when it comes to booking headliners. This year's trifecta of Muse, Killers and Mars follows such fine trios as Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Maroon 5 and Foo Fighters in 2017, and Stevie Wonder, Florence the Machine and Red Hot Chili Peppers in 2016. Despite great performances by Muse and Killers, fans were definitely looking forward to and talking about Mars all weekend long. The pop star definitely managed to live up to expectations, showcasing once again that he's a world-class entertainer as he boogied through such hits as 24K Magic, Finesse, and, of course, Uptown Funk. Ooh, you're so fresh at Bruno Mars at, at Bottle Rock Napa Pick. Twitter.com slash PXCMFT. The Killers and Snoop Dogg were among the top attractions of Day 2, which you can read more about here. Muse and the Struts are among the top attractions of Day 1, which you can read more about here. More at Halsey at Bottle Rock Nap a pick. Twitter.com slash L1JFLVHOJR Jim Harrington at Jim The Critic May 28, 2018